what I was thinking about for this year at Change, I think we've, we've, we've had good teaching on, on the grace of Jesus Christ and, and we've talked about the glory of God and we've talked about the love of God. Last week, uh, didn't Joel, Susie and Matt do a great job? Let's encourage them. It was such a good week. But what I realize is those two things mean nothing unless we actually have fellowship or communion with the Holy Spirit. And that word communion means to communicate with or travel with. It means to do life with God. And sometimes we have, you know, our prayer time and our, our Sunday church and our Wednesday night change, and, and that's our God time. But I think change and church become powerful when God is with us every moment and we commune and fellowship with Him. So we come here for a greater purpose than just to have our religious moment with God. And so communion is traveling with. And, you know, the, the Holy Spirit just wants to hang out with you. He just wants to partner with you. He just wants to, to be in your world. And, and it's, not, it's not to squash our life. It's to enhance your life. It's to, to give you direction and guidance. He's a comforter. And, and Jesus ascended into heaven when he rose again. And he send, sent the Holy Spirit to empower us to live this Christian life. Who's, who's ever felt dry following Jesus? You've, you've felt like, yep, pretty much all of us. If you haven't, I'd love to talk to you afterwards. <laughs> and, um, but what I've found is there are moments of dryness where I know, I, I know what the grace of Jesus Christ has done for me. I know the love of God. I know the scriptures. I, I, I can hear it from the pulpit. I can hear it in worship. But I am feeling dead inside. And I was asking myself this question, God, why does this happen to believers? Why is this happening to me, God? Why, why am I going through this? And he's saying, you don't have any fellowship with me. All the knowledge and the grace and the understanding of all those things means nothing, Josh, unless you have communion and fellowship with me day by day and you let me guide you and let me comfort you and travel with me in life. I, I think the first question you need to ask yourself if you feel dry or you don't feel passionate about the fact that you are saved from eternal damnation, is why? <laughs> if we have eternal life, and we, and we were, were destined for something really bad, we were destined for hell, yet we're not excited about going to heaven to celebrate and have the greatest party ever, that ever existed, and we get to do that with, with each other right now and bring people along, then I think we have to ask our que our, a question to our heart tonight. Do we have fellowship with the Holy Spirit? Do we, do we know Him? Because if that dryness is in our heart, if, if we're not alive with passion and burning to serve the kingdom of God, to, to reach out to others, then maybe we haven't been traveling with Him and He's the one that prays through us. He's the one that gives us the energy and the life and the, and the, 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 the influence of the Christian world, of the Christian believer. It's not, it's not just a bunch of knowledge that equals that. It's actually having fellowship and communion with the Holy Spirit. So tonight, I'm just excited to see what the Holy Spirit can do in your world. And it's an easy thing. You know, when I broke my back, I was, um, uh, when I hit the water, I was totally winded and I couldn't breathe. And I was yelling out as loud as I could, but nothing was coming out and poor Isaac's on the rocks going what is going on he's freaking out thinking he's killed killed his pastor and uh they can see the headlines now <laughs> stupid youth pastor jumps off the warrior blowhole <laughs> thought he was 16 <laughs> gave into peer pressure <laughs> and but in that in that moment I I, I just I was yelling out as loud as I could, and I, nothing was coming out. I knew that I could talk. I, I previously knew that, that I, I used to talk, and I, and I used to be able to breathe, but nothing was coming out because something happened in my life. It, 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 it shocked my whole body, my whole system, so I couldn't, I couldn't yell out. And sometimes our relationship with God, we're, we're, so, we're, we're, we're injured, we're, we're hurt by something, or something didn't make sense, and it's like, I'm trying to yell out for help, but nothing's coming out. But Isaac was like the Holy Spirit in that moment. <laughs> and uh, 
and, and, and literally he jumped in and pulled me to safety and got me up onto the rocks and, and, uh, and kissed me and just, you know. <laughs> but, but honestly, there was such sense of relief, like, oh, wow, I'm saved. <laughs> I'm saved. Like, I, I, I could have I, I died in that moment. It was just a weird, it was the most full-on moment. It wasn't just like, oh, that was close. It was like, man, if he wasn't there in that moment, and then, Joe, did you jump in after? So I already jumped, injured myself. <laughs> He's up on the cliff going, oh, no, I'll jump as well. And then we're, we're both in there with broken backs. <laughs> so then Joe jumps in. I mean, that, that, it was awesome to, to me if I think back because they got me out of there. They pulled me. And, and really, that's what the love and the grace of God and the Holy Spirit do. They pull, pull you out of situations and, and get you back to, to safety and heal you so then you can do what God has called you to do. And so... The fellowship with the Holy Spirit is not there to hinder you or something you've got to endure. Like Kate Burke was saying, like meeting up with someone for coffee or calling them to say, hey, come along to change, shouldn't be this obligation that we have to do, like this task, but it should be this, this thing that we're just so hungry for God and, and the Holy Spirit is so moving in you that you, you can't wait just to hang out with someone and get to know them and, and have food with them and, and, and speak into their world. And I think... The oil, the anointing of God speaks to the Holy Spirit. If you're doing life dry, if it feels like the cogs are just turning over you, you're just surviving as a believer, then maybe tonight you can open up your heart and say, you know what, I want fellowship with you. I want a real prayer life. I, I want a real love for God again. I, I want to repent tonight, and I, I don't want to play games. I want to be an on-fire, awakened a live believer tonight. I want to make a difference with what Jesus has done by hanging on the cross. I don't want to just go through life and think, that's great, thanks for your grace and love, but I'm not going to fellowship with you. The second meaning of fellowship there is partnership. And we should do life in partnership with God. Not just partnership like He's even. It's actually like He's the CEO of your life. Like He's... he's He's the king. He's the Lord of your life. He's above everything. So you partner with him and say, okay, what now, God? Yongi Cho says it like this. He wakes up in the morning and says, good morning, Holy Spirit. <laughs> what would you like to do with me today? Move through me. Use the conversations. Use my work. Use whatever. And, and, and use this life for your glory. And he wakes up and says that. And man, that, that convicted me and inspired me again to think, am I having fellowship with the Holy Spirit? Maybe many of you here tonight are in that place and you're effective and you're helping out and you're reaching people for Christ. Well, that is awesome. But maybe many of you here tonight, you're dry. If you are honest, it's like, I'm dead. I, I, I'm, doing, I'm doing the motions. I'm saving face. I'm, I'm going through it all. But really, I don't have communion with the Holy Spirit. And, and it's very hard to have communion with believers and fellowship with fellow b believers unless you have fellowship with the Holy Spirit. They're just going to annoy the heck out of you. <laughs> what I say will annoy you. Church will annoy you. Everything that goes, you just annoy you. But if you have fellowship with the Holy Spirit, then fellowship with believers just becomes an enjoyable thing. Why? Because you have a real relationship with God. Amen. Come on, let's give God all the praise, all the honor, all the glory tonight.